sometime. Somehow, we will be punished. Punished? Have you ever wanted to bless someone, say a loved one, or maybe even an enemy that you just want to stop fighting with? Maybe you just want to bless yourself. Well, I'm here to help you understand how in the world blessings work. First of all, without getting into the consciousness aspect, it takes intent. Your heart. Where does your heart lie? Do you hold positive or negative feelings? The trick is to maintain that positivity. You need to think the brightest thoughts, think loving thoughts, just intend. So, as an example, say you have a family member going through a tough time at school, or maybe they are going to have a test soon, but they don't feel confident in themselves. How that would work is you can either pray or you can just straight up think about them. Just think about them passing their test, them getting through their problem, and just genuinely think about it and believe that it'll happen. That is one way of doing it. So one way was just straight up thinking. Now we'll go on to prayer. So if you want to bless someone through prayer, then you're just going to have to pray to whatever it is that you believe in to bless that person for you. So say you believe in the Christian God, you pray to Jesus or pray to God and say, Dear Lord, please bless this person in my life. Help them go through whatever problems that they're dealing with. Help them to gain your insights and see what needs to be done. Something like that, you know. It has to be genuine and from your heart. You have to believe that you are truly praying and you have to believe that that prayer will be answered. That is a second method. So a third method would be to bless an item. So I'm not sure if I made a video on this before, but you want to generate energy within the palm of your hand. Like if you want heat energy, fire energy, a good way to practice getting that sensation in your hand because you guys, it doesn't matter if I say that I'm doing it right now because, well, how are you going to know that I'm manipulating energy? You don't have to believe that. So a good way to practice it would be to rub your hands together and separate them. You can either like separate them completely and put both hands on your lap, palms facing upwards and try to maintain that heat within the palm of your hand. Or you can like have the palms facing one another, separating them by about an inch and feeling the heat in between your hands. Either or is fine. But once you get the gist of creating that heat without rubbing your hands together, you've done it. That's the energy. So you want to condense this energy into the palm of your hand and you want to place it over an object, not physically touching the object, because if you touch the object, you may put too much energy, but you want to hover your hand above the object about an inch away and just push that energy from the palm of your hand into the object while thinking positive thoughts. You want to think about the blessing that you want to give the person or that you want to imbue the object with. So say you want an object to grant good luck. You'll think... This object will be imbued with good luck. Or you can think, good luck, good luck, good luck. <laughs> you know, just repeat the words in your head. It doesn't really matter. It matters about intent. You want to intend that the blessing will take effect. Otherwise, you're just going to be imbuing something with energy and then it becomes a target. So imbue it with positive energy while thinking positive thoughts. And then, eventually, you'll feel that you don't need to do it anymore. And if you don't get that feeling, then I'd say do it for roughly 10 to 15 minutes. That is usually enough time to get the point across. So, that is a third method of blessing. The reason that methods 1 and 2 work are because you're working with consciousness. 
Method one, you are just thinking the thoughts you are intending. So that is working with your, um, well, I wouldn't even say initial consciousness. That is working with the consciousness that you are currently involved with. Now, method two, that is praying. That is also working with your consciousness. It just happens to be that you're working with a consciousness that owns a religion. So this consciousness is going to be in charge of multiple people, not just you. So your prayer doesn't take precedence. It's up to that being to decide if your prayer takes precedence over the other people. Now, method three, that one is actually you as the ego. You as the ego or human body have a soul, and this soul is generating energy and pushing that energy out of your body. And you're basically linking your soul's energy with that item. And that is how the third method works. And when I say soul, I do not mean spirit, because the spirit is consciousness while the soul is ego. And those are the three methods that I wanted to go over. The same can be done for cursing, just flip-flop it, you know? Just instead of positivity, it's all negativity. But that's on you, and I'm not even going to explain that. <sighs> so I hope you guys have a good one, and remember to stay safe out there. Some mentors are telling me that some interns have not yet contacted them for their internship projects. I won't name names. 